Another thumbs down for a proposed project that would send millions of gallons of water from the Wabash River to Boone County for economic development. Star City News' Emily Slater tells us why the community of Shadeland is also opposing the idea. The Shadeland Town Council's resolution in opposition to the LEAP pipeline comes as the third from a local municipality so far. West Lafayette, Attica, and now Shadeland have all passed their resolutions unanimously. City Councilor David Sanders, along with Councilor James Blanco, authored the first resolution passed at last month's West Lafayette City Council meeting. City and town councilors have recognized that the resolutions themselves cannot stop the proposed water pipeline from the Wabash Aquifers to the planned LEAP Innovation District in Lebanon. But Dr. Sanders has hope. I do think we have a chance to stop it. Dr. Sanders has a few reasons for that belief. They actually need the companies who are going to be moving there in order to make the pipeline worthwhile. And I believe that they will be listening to the voices of the local community and hearing about the fact that we do not want this and this is not the sort of thing that they will want associated with their brand. So far, only Eli Lilly Pharmaceutical company has broken ground at the LEAP district. Sanders acknowledges that there is a possibility that they won't be able to stop the pipeline. We may not be able to stop it completely, but we may be able to limit it. Dr. Sanders points to what Lafayette Mayor Tony Rizorski has called for, guaranteed limits on pumping and limits on the physical size and capacity of the pipe. Even if both of those things uh, don't happen, we don't stop it, we can't necessarily limit it, we will have um, a momentum for preventing this sort of thing from happening in the future. Dr. Sanders says he's receiving five or six phone calls and emails every day from constituents about the pipeline. That will be one of the major outcomes, that local government was willing to stand up for what the community wanted, but state government wasn't listening. I hope that's not the outcome. And I think that if the voice of people in the community is loud enough, the state government will have to listen to us. The waters are still muddy on what this will mean for the future of the proposed pipeline, but local officials are optimistic that their constituents' voices will be heard. Emily Slater, Star City News, Greater Lafayette.